But I didn't want it. Well, yep. time out. Time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me. All right. Okay. Go ahead. No, you go. Go ahead. Let's go, Jen. Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back. Skip. Well, I thought. Skip, just let me. I, I didn't know I, you I were going to bring no, up. No. When Shannon Sharp returned and said he publicly disagreed with Skip Bayless's tweet on Damar Hamlin. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations. So clearly, somebody. No, they had a did not have. The, nobody. Let's go, Jay. And days prior, when Bayless tweeted what he did, Sharp decided to allow Skip to anchor the show solo, which many viewed as a power move, but also was abnormal. One person came to Bayless's defense while saying this of Shannon Sharp. I can only imagine um, the, the kind of position uh, that he found himself in in light of Hamlin's injury. The only thing that I would say, if, I, if, if Shannon had come to me and ask my advice, for example. Here's the only thing that I would say. That's your chair. You don't give it up for nobody. That's yours. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn if you were in the chair and had nothing to say. That being, of course, Stephen A. Smith. Let's pause here, though. So you're telling me you would not have a problem with Shannon Sharp sitting in his chair because it is his chair and remaining silent while Skip Bayless spoke for the whole show. I mean, what would have been more awkward, taking the day off or sitting there in silence? Hard to buy it, but there's more from Stephen A. You don't miss sitting in that chair because there's an audience out there that expected to see you. Yes. But I understood him like every single NFL player, present and former, that I've spoken to, Hearts was in the right place. Some may take this one way, some may take it another. Lest we forget, with Hamlin's status unknown at the time, Bayless insensitively wondered how the NFL could suspend a game that had playoff implications. Sharp aligned with nearly all of America by disagreeing with the tweet from Bayless, which influenced his decision to skip undisputed the next morning of course Stephen a has been known to give up his chair as well go sit up there and look at Stephen a and say oh here he is bringing up race and none of the black players speak up and say yo he got a point yo he's right yo there's something that needs to be done here do y'all want me to bring up the Rooney rule and how it might be needed in basketball oh I forgot I can't do that why? Because the Rooney Rule ain't even working in the damn NFL. So when are we going to say something about it? I'm just, you know what? I'm going to walk away. I'll be right back because I'm scared I'm going to say something that might get me in trouble. Because I'm pissed. I'm pissed. He would, of course, return to the set after this. Here are my closing thoughts, okay? Stephen A. Smith will always defend Skip Bayless. He has spoken glowingly about Bayless in the past, including on J.J. Reddick's podcast, how he basically stopped Skip Bayless in a parking lot and said, we need to do this. It'll be great. It'll be huge. He, along with Skip, are sports media giants. Their stars have outshined every other star in sports media. Stephen A. Smith has been in media for quite a long time starting out with his days, you know, going back to Philly. Shannon Sharp has not. However, that does not make Shannon's approach wrong. It's just a fresher approach, a different approach. An approach that has a cup being filled and knowing when it's about to overflow. Shannon and Skip's relationship has soured, as we have noted, with front office sports utilizing their sources inside the FS1 studio, saying it is, quote, at an all-time low. Many have, of course, pointed to the Tom Brady discussion where Skip Bayless, to make a point to defend Brady, said that the quarterback is better than Shannon Sharp ever was and has a better resume. Hard to compare when one is a quarterback and another is a tight end, but nonetheless, it was personal. And the reason we know it's personal is because Shannon Sharp said so and you saw the reaction from 
many current and former NFL players and even athletes as well that Skip Bayless crossed the line. Then there was, of course, the Damar Hamlin tweet, which Skip Bayless worded very, very poorly and received a ton of criticism and a ton of backlash for. And if you think about it, Shannon Sharp, who has a connection with collegiate players, collegiate coaches, NFL players, NFL coaches, NFL trainers, what have you, there's probably a good reason why Sharp skipped out on that next day's show. Of course, knowing how Skip Bayless wants to insert himself at all times in any conversation to consistently remain relevant. It is a recipe that has deemed success for him. The argument could have easily been made that Shannon Sharp going into the studio that day could have potentially made matters worse, and here's how. He would have been tasked potentially with defending the indefensible. Maybe he knew that going in and decided, you know what, I don't need this. The second is it could have potentially resulted in the video that we saw of when Shannon Sharp came in the next day and was interrupted during his monologue. It could have been that times 10 of it being fresher and Shannon speaking his mind as he beautifully does every show and Skip continually stopping him and interrupting him and going after him because he disagrees with Shannon's criticism, which he has been known to do from his days at ESPN. It was a shrewd move from Shannon, but it's also just different approaches. Here's what we know. It has clearly been a deteriorating relationship for some time between Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. What I will say, though, is on the that's your chair front, Shannon Sharp's chair is safe. It has already been proven. The clicks he generates, the headlines that he generates. You could arguably say the bigger star on that show is Shannon. So if there's any chair that needs a butt filled every day without taking a day off, it's Skip Bayless. That's why I say the man who had to show up was Skip. And he did. He didn't necessarily have to face the music because he didn't receive any pushback from reporters, from fellow. It wasn't like a press conference per se. He was just flying solo talking to a camera. I will end this segment with this. Stephen A. will not criticize Skip Bayless because just like boxers having a trilogy, he has that in his back pocket for when what we're currently seeing on first take ceases. And if ESPN or Fox Sports 1 wants to throw the bag at the other's rival, per se, it will happen. You always keep a card in your back pocket, and Stephen A. is doing that.